Hey everybody, Alonzo here with GolfCoastSmoke.com and today we're making cheeseburger armadillo eggs. You've probably seen armadillo eggs cooked all over social media and today we wanted to try them out but I wanted to add some nice flavors in there just to take it to another level. And if you don't know what armadillo eggs are, we're going to start with some fresh jalapenos, some pickles. This is going to go inside of the jalapeno here in a minute. Some mild cheddar cheese, softened cream cheese, ground beef. And for our seasonings today, we'll use Swine Life's Prime Beef and Tennessee Mojo's Barbecue Rub. We'll start by cutting the stem off of this jalapeno. And then I'm going to get a paring knife. And I'm just going to turn right there in the middle to take the core out. Then I'm just going to twist to loosen everything up. And when all is said and done, that's what it should look like. And now we're just going to grate some mild cheddar cheese. And now into a bowl, we'll add a softened block of cream cheese and as much cheddar cheese as your heart desires. We'll slice up some of the pickles that we forgot about. Now we'll hit it with some prime beef rub. All those pickles. And we'll give it one more mix. This is exactly what you want to see when you're done. We'll put all of our mixture into a sandwich bag. And now we're just going to use a makeshift piping bag. And put our mixture all the way in this jalapeno. Don't be afraid to make a mess. It's all good. You want to make sure to fill it all the way to the top. Now we're going to wrap our ground beef around this jalapeno until it looks egg shaped. Now we'll wrap the armadillo egg with a couple of pieces of bacon. It's okay if it doesn't cover the whole thing. And we'll season everything with Mojo Barbecue. And today we're going to cook these on our Weber kettle and we're going to use the Vortex attachment. In order to set the Vortex up, it's extremely simple. All we did was fill the Vortex up with B&B charcoal, let it get extremely hot, threw a chunk of pecan in, and now we're going to let these ride until they're completely finished. And about 45 minutes later, these cheeseburger armadillo eggs are done. You guys saw the footage. They look outrageous. They smell great from here. We did make an easy and delicious burger sauce. We used mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, and Worcestershire. I couldn't even tell you how much we used, but just mix in how much you think is going to be good. And I promise you the mixture of ingredients is going to turn out delicious. We also made some homemade fries to go along with this cheeseburger themed armadillo egg. But of course, now it's time to take a bite. Mm. First thing I get is that sauce, sweet, tangy. It almost tastes kind of like Chick-fil-A sauce. I get a little bit of sweetness from that Mojo barbecue sauce. Of course, the prime beef by Swine Life brings great, great flavors. I get the pickles, which gives me that sour bite. And I can honestly say that this does taste like a cheeseburger just without the bun. I think that if you guys play around with these armadillo eggs just a little bit, you can make a lot of different things that are going to go great inside of this. If you guys enjoyed a video like this, let me know by subscribing to the channel, liking, and leaving a comment down below. I was looking at our analytics earlier today, and about 80% of you that watch our videos are not subscribed. It is free to do. I don't know what you're waiting for. We're putting out multiple videos a week, and if you help us grow at the end of the year, the giveaways are always better for you guys. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.